So now we'll simply uh, go to an example of Android fragments. With this simple example, we'll demonstrate how the fragments work. Just click on the File New Project, and right here, Fragments Test. <coughs> Sorry, they are uh, they'll be stored in Android Lectures and Fragment Test as as a project name Fragment Test, and this is the directory Android Lectures as we have already discussed this. Next. API 15, Android 403, minimum, next, and simply click on should it be a tab activity? Let it let just select an empty activity and next. <coughs> the name of the activity uh, let it be fragment activity fragment activity activity fragment and click finish now a new project will be created soon so the new project is being loaded there's still some cradle running build running going on in the background so we have to wait a bit more let us now create fragments uh, uh, click go to click here right click on your main folder click on new and then go to fragment blank fragment fragment list fragment with a button model bay bottom sheet let us click uh, create a fragment with a button first of all with a plus one button plus one fragment name it uh, fragment one or fragment first yes and click finish this will create a fragment with this button inside it so this class will be created fragment first with a button in it and this will also create a resource file in the layout for this fragment let us see layout and you see fragment underscore fragment first you know with this fragment first we have a fragment and now we have to wait a bit until the cradle finishes build our fragment class uh, go to the fragment layout and let's make this button a normal button uh, and keep the name as same just remove all of this and remove also one and you got to remove this as well and you need to remove this and also this so this is a button a normal button now now if we go and see how it looks like yes that's the button and let's move it to the center first of all write a text for this button uh, go to second fragment see we have go to second fragment here I think we just keep it on this corner for now and now we should go and go to the fragment first class and instead of plus one button we should change this to a normal button this variable press alt enter so that sorry click here first press alt enter and now this class uh, import library is added and instead of plus one button just add 
yeah, this name is plus one button. Yeah, here we should change it to button. Class it to button, and that's it. And m plus one button dot initialize. We don't need to initialize anything. Just remove this from the on resume class, and that's it. Now we need to create a second fragment. Click new here and then go to fragment and let's create a fragment with a list. Item. This fragment will contain a list. This will have an adapter, my item cycle view adapter. For now, we will not add anything into this list, so just click finish. The name of the fragment is item fragment, fragment class name, let's name it fragment list. And what is the name of the layout? Layout file name is fragment list as well. Fragment underscore. In fact, just press Control Z because this is the item, the item that will be contained in each of these lists. This is the layout file for that item. So we click finish. So this will be the layout line file, main layout file for this fragment list. Click finish, and let's see what we get. So we had our fragment list that is being created, and what is being created in the layout file. Uh, should go to the layout and you see we have an a fragment item list which is the main layout for this fragment this is the item XML file which will be the which will fill up the contents of this list you know inside this fragment for now we will keep it empty for our first test so don't worry too much about this if it looks complicated so that's it <coughs> now we should write something in our first fragment so that it calls the second fragment. In fact, instead of using our fragment to call the second fragment, we will uh, use the activity to, you know, switch between the fragments. That's will be better to do first and that's kind of more, you know, um, that concept is more, more uh, you can say, powerful and more effective in the case of fragments. So just go to your activity this is your activity this is an on create function and of course this on create function has to load the resource file which is not being loaded this is the activity uh, of the fragment uh, let's see how we can we can load this layout file in the main activity we have to use the function set content here this super on create is already there inside on create we have to use the function set content set content view and this one view let's have this view or dot uh, layout dot uh, activity fragment that's it so if we, if we run our uh, code we should see the activity running just click here why is there an error running the app no it's quite fine click here on the app instead of edit configurations and default activity not found uh -huh, default activity not found because we have to we should have this activity inside our manifest file okay the name of the activity is fragment activity and we have to uh, you know kind of use it as a default activity let me tell you how to do it activity is our main activity we need to define it here as our main activity inside the intent filter 
I N T E N T intent minus F I R T E R intent filter. That's it. And here we have to um, put the default or the main or the main active. So we have to use here action inside the intent filter tag action then close this and this this comes here now you have to use a, the action name this is android just click here and press name android name which is equal to simply we can put this here this intent action main should be here I think we can remove this put everything in, in one that will be that's it so android name this is android dot intent dot action main so this is the main action main this shows that use this activity as a main activity whenever we launch the app and the next is the launcher this is the launching app, launching uh, uh, activity I mean you have to use a category here T E G U R Y category dot L A U N C H E R launcher now we should be able to run this activity default activity not found uh, yes because we have to uh, kind of either put this tag at the end or we have to simply use this and use an end activity tag here like this that's it so this uh, action main and category launcher is now intent filter is uh, actions are not defined inside the inside this activity you know activity tag on the on the manifest file now we should be able to able to run it let's see if we have still an error we still have an error and let's see what the error is now the error is this is not an action but this is a category launcher category action main and then we can now run this app we have uh, this nexus 6 P as emulator so just click OK and we should be able to see this activity as the main launcher activity inside the emulator so the griddle is synchronizing and the app will be launching soon we have to wait a bit get a bit running the APK will be installed and the app will come up so the app is coming up finally let's see how our activity will show so the activity is now running you see hello world is printed now what we will do we will have two buttons in this activity and if we were to press one button it will show the fragment first and if we press the second button it will show the fragment list so let's go to our main activity first of all we need to go to our activity layout main activity layout that is activity fragment let's convert this layout to linear layout instead of constraint layout that's it in the linear layout we also need to have an orientation and android orientation and this means this should be vertical here that's it and now we need we can remove this text box uh, text text view we can simply place here a button this start tag of the control and button now just disappeared just click double click here and uh, wrap content wrap content so this is all so automatic you know it's very easy viewers in in android and uh, what should be the id android id should be uh, show 
first fragment. What is missing here? ID Yeah, first fragment should be the ID. There were spaces, that's why we were having an error here because in ID we cannot have spaces here. We should have spaces in the text. Uh, the text that is going to be shown on this button show first fragment. Now we need to have another button, and this button should be here. This means show second fragment or show list fragment because the name of our second fragment is list fra fragment list. Just name it list fragment that's it now we need to define an android linear layout here which is going to contain these fragments you know uh, linear l a y o u t linear layout that's it and this end tag is automatically created if you just complete the first tag and then here you can put your linear layout parameters just android width and orientation and height apart from that you need an id here because you need to call it when you want to show it show the it should be like this and this should be like this that's it now we should have here we should have here an id android id just copy this part to this and name it the fragment container layout that's it now we go to design and see how the design looks like we can now we can just keep it minimized it will load earlier the next time when we run because it's already running the emulator that's how it looks like there are two buttons and there is a linear layout this will here will be our linear layout placed so just go to our fragment activity and try to uh, you know create all these uh, to load all these buttons and layout from the uh, show first fragment from the layout you know uh, show first fragment I press alt enter and this import will be added for the button there this one you know enter the visual button just use a semicolon here copy it show list fragment and then the next should be linear layout which is actually a fragment container fragment container and now what should we do we can simply go here show first fragment we can cast to button first like this 
and use this function find view by id find view by id and then load this view of the button from the main layout r dot id this id is first fragment and that's it simply copy this whole line two more times that's it now change the show first fragment by the show list fragment and change the this one the last one with the linear layout variable this should be cast to linear layout L is capital I linear layout just click here to come and then find the linear layout uh, fragment container from the uh, the layout main layout and you know and load it using this white view by id function and then here should be the uh, list list fragment and now what is next the next is we should uh, you know use this uh, set this click button on click button uh, set on click listener for this and uh, and we can in the arguments pass this class new or subject new view dot on click listener double click that's it you need to have parentheses so you need to have this parentheses like this and close uh, this bracket so we should remove this from here and so this is giving an error you see this red sign here just click on implement method or add import for add so we need to have an override this function you know uh, on click function for this class you know android view uh, on click listener and uh, we just did override this function and everything is now fine just simply copy paste it again and just replace the name of the button because we need to call the on click listener of the show list fragment as well if we want to call the list fragment that is it okay now we need to you know there is a class called fragment manager and fragment transaction that are used to you know load the fragments into our main activity so we are going to use those classes first of all i just write the fragment manager fragment oops not the transaction fragment manager class my fragment or let's name it my parameter local underscore fragment manager which is equal to new fragment manager Oh, this created so much. We don't need this. We need to. We need to remove all this because uh, we can simply do Control Z. Yes because we 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 need here uh, the get fragment manager function to get the fragment manager you know get fragment manager this gives us this object fragment manager 
so it's what's the error let's see it says that yeah it requires this fragment manager but it got this one android app dot fragment manager it needs this v4 from the v4 app library support library let's see so convert variable l fragment to android app dot fragment manager okay yeah this one is wrong so just click here and now it's it seems fine we can just simply remove this one and we can import this here import this library here and that's it and then we don't need this android app as well and that is it now we need a frog fragment transaction class fragment transaction class and let's call it l underscore fragment transaction which is equal to l fragment manager dot dot get that begin transaction that's it we can use this function this gives us a transaction so in the action view function of this button click we have added a fragment manager we got an, an object for the fragment manager and from this fragment manager object we have a fragment transaction you know and now using this we'll show this fragment uh, first fragment on our view on our end on, on our main layout So now we'll create a create an object of this first fragment uh, class f r a g fragment first first fragment which is equal to new first fragment new fragment first so we created an object for the our first fragment uh, class and now what we need to do we need to um, call our fragment transaction and we need to add uh, this uh, fragment object here into our transaction and the first argument this will be the second argument the first argument will be the r dot id dot uh, fragment container f r a g fragment container or you can maybe also put this fragment container object that we created but let's see integer and fragment first cannot resolve method let's see why we have this error so this error is because uh, let's see uh, it shows that you know this is an integer and this is a fragment this method and it's not I mean yeah I understand uh, I think we are using the wrong library here uh, you see we are using this app dot fragment manager and app dot transaction fragment transaction which should remove this and we should use this and import Android dot support dot v4 fragment and this support android support library you know uh, for the fragment manager and f also for fragment transaction you know we should only use all these from the android support dot v4 dot app you know from this fragment libraries and now we have an error here and these this seems okay yes this error is because this get support fragment manager is part of the support library and that's it now it works completely fine and now at the end we need to do a fragment fragment transaction dot c o m m i t dot commit and now i can do the same for the next fragment just simply copy paste it 
and this is fragment manager this should be l and just keep them same this is port fragment manager and l frag because they are the same names we can use in the different click on click functions and just change this this class to fragment first to fragment list and also name this to l list fragment this class object for this second fragment and name this to new fragment list seems fine now simply add here l list fragment and control s now this seems to work fine now what should we do we should try to run our uh, app and we should a be able to kind of you know see how it how it runs after the app is loaded and the activity main activity starts so our main UI is loaded let's see we click which one we should click on the show first fragment it should show the first fragment when we should click on the show list fragment button it should show the list fragment so let's click here nothing happens actually our app closes let's see what happened oh we have an error let's click here and see oh yes we have this error through runtime exception because our activity should implement own fragment interaction listener class and its functions yeah because we have this own because this 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 method it it asks you know it sends data between fragment and the client right now we are not doing it so it's we 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 should make our fragment very simple actually we should delete everything that we don't need and just delete everything delete everything even this own create function because for fragment we have this own create view function oh, our button variable also got deleted so let's create it again button m plus one button and just do this remove all this on fragment direction listener as well remove this as well and that's it I think we don't even need this constructor well we need this constructor because we created an object here so uh, do the same for the fragment list let's remove this let's remove all this we have we should delete all this that's it we should delete this as well this as well and this as well that's it and we should delete this as well because everything is nothing is there in this fragment right now and let us you know uh, go to this first fragment that's it you see we made this button look bigger we can we can make it like the control Z and uh, okay let's keep it as it is and now we go to the fragment list and we have nothing in this list right now let's add some background color here background color here and add the color primary which is yeah something like dark blue and then run our activity again or learn run the app again and then see what happens 
Now, uh, because we removed everything from the fragment list, almost everything, we can also remove this. You know, and we don't need this class anymore. We just keep this fragment first and fragment list, you know. We just remove this class, delete this, and we also did remove this fragment items, you know. We don't need this. We have, we have just a list with a certain color, you know, a certain list, you know, which will show item 0, 1, 2. So, so we simply now run it and uh, And see what happens. So our app is running, and uh, you see, we actually we already I already clicked there, so I have to have to run again. So now it will come up again, and I will show you what actually happens. Yeah, so the app is coming up. You the app is up. Yeah. So if we click on the show first fragment, it show the first fragment. If we click on the show list fragment, it should show the list fragment. So let's click. Oh, so the first fragment is shown. We had this button. Go to second fragment here. Now, if I click on the show left, it'll show list fragment. It should bring the list fragment. Now I clicked here. Nothing happened. Neither there is an error. Yeah, I think the problem is that because in our second fragment, we have also this the same container, which is a linear layout. And in this container, we are trying to maybe bring a layout which is a recycle view so we should change the layout to linear layout here and uh, we, what we need here we need to uh, to remove certain things like uh, we don't need a layout manager simply why not we just copy the linear layout from here because there seems to be an error okay this was a frame layout so just copy this okay and let's see what happens here we just put the the frame layout here yeah and control s and we write here this is the second fragment you see this is the second fragment so this will show a button like this we can make it a bigger button that's it now we run it again and look for our UI and see what the UI does. So the app is up again. Let's see what happens. Show first fragment. So it showed the first fragment. You know, this was the button of the first fragment. Click here. So our second fragment, which is this list fragment, did not came again. Let's see what happened. Yeah, I think I know what the problem is. The problem was that we added the first fragment, we committed. The next time we cannot simply the second fragment when we click the next button show list fragment, we cannot simply add it and commit. We should actually replace it because we already have one fragment on in the same container, so we should replace the container which is this in the main activity. This is the container, this linear layout, you know, this fragment container. Though this already has the first fragment now so we should replace the first fragment with the second fragment so we should use instead of in the second button we should use instead of add a replace button and with the same parameters the fragment container and the fragment class object and then do a commit and if we run it we I think now it should definitely run because surely this might have been a problem because we should use the replace you know so let's wait a bit until the app loads and the and the main activity appears then we will do a test so the activity is going to be launched soon the main activity and then we can test again now so our main activity is up so now let's see if we click show first 
fragment we see the first fragment button here you see this was the first fragment it was written here on the button go to the second fragment now if we click on the show list fragment oh that's it this is the second fragment so that was the main issue instead of using add here when we have already added a fragment in the same container we should use replace because we are replacing the last fragment by a new fragment in the same container you know if it's different container that's a different thing then you can you can, you can simply use add but like this now you see now if you know add is not working only because because this was add you know this is not changing because there should be a replace here you know uh, for the next time so let's use replace here PLAC and run again. So the app is up and running again. So first click show first fragment. It works. Go to the second. This was the first fragment screen. Now show list fragment. This is the second fragment, you know. So if we click here, the first fragment, it should come back, you know, because I use the replace now in both cases. So because when we use replace here, because now the next time the second fragment was, you know, occupying the container. So if we click here, it should work on replace, you know. So now you know if we click, it can, it can really we can go back and forth between these two fragments you know so this is uh, a very good simple example you know as a startup example for the fragments you know you can add for example for each fragment here different buttons you know different text boxes different kind of functionality you know all just like in an activity you can have a full uh, full fragment you know for uh, these uh, for different kind of functionality and in the in the second fragment also you can add list or anything or any kind of you know uh, functionalities or controls you know complete controls and you can manage them from within the same activity you know you can use some tabs or anything here you know you can use also tabs instead of buttons you can from uh, from one uh, fragment also you can go to another fragment instead of you know from switching the fragment from within one activity so I hope you understand the fragments and uh, 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 this is for for the start of the fragments a very good example and I think you I hope you will be able, you are able to follow it and you understood well if you have any questions please don't be shy to ask me I will be very happy to answer your questions and thanks